And joins me now to talk about these developments. He's a partner at the Wix Group, where his work includes regulatory and commercial matters and litigation. Um, Lighthizer saying significant progress. We just heard Jessica say that the Chinese side described the talks as candid and fruitful. What's your assessment? Well, on a cold day in Washington, we're hearing warm words coming out of the White House. So that is a good sign, I think, that from both sides' perspective, there's progress made. And so I, I take that at face value. And it sounds with, like with the um, deadline approaching here with less than 30 days, uh, it's good that progress is being made. Um, but there's going to be a number, I think, in my view, there's going to be a, a number of issues that are going to be on the table that needs to be resolved in the next month if we are going to get to that deal by the March 1st deadline. They're taking a short break for Chinese New Year and then uh, a trip to Beijing for the U.S. side. Um, there has been a lot of talk about this enforcement mechanism. Um, that is one of the sticking points they want to elaborate on. What is your thinking uh, behind what the biggest challenges are in regards to that? It's, it's a great uh, question and a tough issue um, because we've heard that from the U.S. Trade Representative, Mr. Lighthizer. Uh, we've heard that from the Vice Premier as well, that they both agree that some type of verification enforcement mechanism needs to be in place. But you know, how do you do that? Well, verification can come in different forms, of course, and how you measure compliance is very difficult, especially on, on these trade-related matters. I mean, you can pass laws and have regulations, but how do you measure enforcement of those regulations and those laws? How do you measure progress? And I think it will be important for that March 1st uh, deadline and re reaching an agreement between China and the United States is maybe not getting all the details in place, but getting a framework to, to work out those details while not taking any type of retaliatory action in the meantime, giving each other space to build upon the goodwill that we're seeing so far in the, in the, in the trade talks. A big announcement by the Chinese side on the soybeans purchase. Um, what is your take on, on that announcement? Well, it was, it's, it's a sign, as, as we heard, of good faith, and I think that's really important and, uh, f from the U.S. perspective to see that, you know, the $375 billion trade deficit is going to be addressed. Obviously, we know Mr. Trump is, is uh, zeroing in on that trade deficit. It's one of his, his key priorities. So addressing that, some of the low-hanging fruit like that, uh, you know, buying more U.S. Uh, uh, imports uh, is, is very important. A lot of people around the world closely watching what happened here in Washington. This was a much higher level meeting. What will we see around the world as, as markets open in Asia and then uh, markets respond in the United States tomorrow? Well, I think we'll see a bump in the markets across the, across the world. I mean, we've already seen a, a progress. We had a, a lumpy uh, end of the year in the U.S. markets, uh, and then we've seen uh, over the last couple of days with the, the, the Fed announcing no, no raise, rising interest rates, and of course, the progress in the trade talks, you're going to see the market respond, I think, in a positive way. What are you going to be watching for as uh, these talks continue? Both sides saying they're going to be continuously in contact, working through the next few weeks to try to meet, reach that March 1st deadline, and then this possible uh, Xi Trump meeting again. Um, I'm looking for signals from, from the White House, White House and from uh, on the Chinese side on you know, you know, what this deal could look like and you know, what's an acceptable win. Because I, I don't think, as we heard earlier, that a year is long enough to resolve all these issues. So what's a win going to look like? I think you could start hearing more of those details, if a framework was possible to be achieved within the time frame desired, uh, about what that might look like, you know, whether that's an agreement to purchase goods by China, uh, an agreement on the U.S. side not to raise tariffs or even roll back some of the existing tariffs. Uh, you know, we'll start to see and, and hear about what that's going to look like. It's, uh, it's really, you know, kind of sticky here at the end, right? Because you had this whole year of going back and forth, back and forth, and now there's really just several weeks before they've got to get something nailed down. Ron Salman, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.